genesis of the academy, the re-emergence of it actually I should say, uh, came about just I think through the challenge of keeping younger kids, school leavers especially, in the game. They were to learn and develop not just on field skills to do with rugby. There's uh, just a heap of nutrition, oh, nutritional value, just you know, how important it is for you. You know, all that kind of stuff. And it's hurt me from doing like my body weight. Um. Some areas we lack in. Ah, they're giving us like a template kind of thing. Uh, so the pillars actually come from uh, New Zealand rugby itself. So uh, they've obviously done a lot of work and they basically have boiled them down into six development pillars. Um, so they are tactical, technical, physical, mental, uh, nutritional, and personal development, leadership, uh, sort of like the holistic view. I think a lot of times people hear the stuff we can't eat, um, so I think the easiest way is to make things fun is to uh, show people you know, what we can actually eat. And you learn to you learn all the aspects off the field more than on the field, like the more, like more of the rehabilitation and nutrition than the actual physicality itself. Just anything that drives their self-confidence to do, not necessarily just for rugby, but for anything that they're into. Um, I think if the club can be a good uh, vehicle for that, I think that'll, that'll pay back itself and, and spreading you know, what we do for the community and for uh, the young people and things. So uh, yeah, probably self-confidence, I think. Hey,